Well, hello, my lovelies. It's Countess. And um, yeah, so I thought that we could continue. Um, I did decide that I um, want to at least highlight all of the major arcana cards. So we'll see, um, you know, how many a week I can get out. There should be very short, short and sweet videos. But if you want to know a little bit more about the tarot, um, come along with me and let's go through the um, Arcana One, the Magician. Yesterday we met the Fool, who is Arcana Zero, and um, he represents like limitless ambition and his, you know, motivation, the the power of source, or you know, the or the source of power. Um, the Magician, um, in reference to the Kabbalah Tree of Life um, represents the Kether or the Ket or the Keter, and this is the crown of the Tree of Life in the Kabbalah. Um, the magician's astrology is represented by Mercury, and its element is represented by air. Um, air also represents the sword's suit in tarot. So in, you know, Arcana 1, we're going to meet the magician. He is the keeper of esoteric knowledge. He is the god of tarot, the father of all things, the eternal generator of the word which takes form. And upon the head of the magician, there is the divine sign of infinity which indicates the infinite possibilities of creation with the will. At the bottom of the image, there is a garden representing the subconscious field from where the hidden powers of man come. These powers are symbolized by white lilies and red roses. The lilies stand for various aspects of truth, and the roses are symbols of human desires. There are four lilies because all possible human knowledge falls naturally into four main categories. And the five roses because every human desire has a relation to one of the five major senses. Um, think of the pentagram. You know, the, the soul makes is the fifth element. And with the soul, you have the pentagram, the microcosm to the macrocosm. Um, the magician also cult cultivates these flowers, um, using his power to control their development, and he takes them far beyond the conditions provided by nature. It is a transformer and a transmitter of experience. The magician himself is placed behind a table covered with four objects. These objects represent the mental tools employed by human consciousness to deal with the actual conditions of the human environment. So we'll start with the wand. Uh, the wand symbolizes the first mental tool. Consider that it's simply, um, consider it as like a pointer. Um, the first requisite for the solution to any problem is to give it one's full attention. Every problem contains its own solution, and that solution is perceived by attentive observation. So then we go to the cup, and it symbolizes the second mental tool, uh, the imagination. Observation collects experience. Imagination shapes it. As a cup shapes what is poured into it, then the sword symbolizes the third tool, the action. Nothing changes until we do something for it to change. And then the last one is the coin or pentacle. And that is the finished product. Um, this is the proper symbol because everything made by man's ingenuity has value. So if we look closer, We'll notice that around the magician's waist is a serpent belt. 
In this belt, the serpent seems to eat its own tail. It's an Ouroboros. This is a familiar symbol of eternity, but especially here indicates the eternity of attainment in the spirit. Among all the symbols on this card, perhaps the most important detail is the position of the magician's hands, which brings to our minds the hermetic principle. Say it with me, guys. As above, so below. (laughs) On his right hand, there's a wand raised towards heaven, while his left hand points to the earth, making the universal gesture of attention. The position of the hands represents the ability to act as an intermediate between the world above and the human world. Additionally, they could represent the two principles, active and passive, of the great all. And that corresponds with the two columns, Hakim and Boaz, of the Temple of Solomon. We go to the Arcana 2 which will be our next card, next video, um, the High Priestess. And we see the two pillars, Hakim and Boaz. So we can say that uh, Major Arcana Zero, the Fool, um, he puts you in touch mentally with the limitless source of all power. And Arcana One, the Magician, um, he calls into action the mental activities which you can apply in order to change the conditions of your life for the better. So that is the magician in a nutshell, you guys. Um, Just the different symbolism and what they mean. Um, It's just very fascinating. And just like the soul is the crown of the pentagram, the magician is the crown of the tree of life on the Kabbalah. (laughs) So... Anyways, guys, uh, let me know what you think. If you have anything else to add to the magician and his many, many talents, uh, drop it in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video and we'll talk about the High Priestess. Until then, have a wonderful, lovely day, you guys. Bye.